What is up my fellow YouTubers? It's your boy Han. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're looking at the Mo2 and TMNT crossover with Turtles of Skull. And uh, back in 2020, Mattel released um, the Mo2 Origins, which was kind of a homage to the originals, but leaned a little bit more to the cartoons. I'm not the biggest He-Man fan, but I have some of the figures, Castle Skull. And now you include TMNT and you can count me in. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look. I want to start this off by setting expectations. I will not be collecting this entire line. However, there are a few figures in Wave 2 that I do plan to get. Starting off, we'll look at He-Man. For the packaging, super classic with the Turtles of Skull breaking out instead of ha having it say Mo2. The character's name, He-Man, the most powerful mutant in the universe. A graphic of Skeletor and Shredder at the top. Then in the clear plastic bubble, a purple mutated green haired He-Man with red eyes, blue veins throughout the bust, black headband and chest armor with orange spikes, silver armbands and belt. Then you have his feet wrapped in brown wrapping. Um, something that Mattel improved on the originals is giving these figures 16 points of articulation with his accessory being a club. You also get the Masters of the Universe and TMNT stickers at the bottom. Taking a quick look at the back, there's always incredible artwork that's worth checking out. This one has Shredder and I guess He-Man is evil. It makes sense, he's mutated. I think the heroes have a graphic of normal He-Man and Leo at the top, but this stuff is super nostalgic and some of the reason that I buy them with all four figures that come in the line. I think Trapjaw is maybe the fifth figure because I did see him at Target. Next is Man at Arms. His skin is blue instead of green underneath the armor. That might be a nod to Leo. Other than that, he might just be mutated. I'm not exactly sure. But being the weapons master, there's a ton of yellowish gold armor pieces with the shell portion being blue that you can attach. For weapons, Man at Arms has a staff and a shell shield that he has on his back. I almost didn't get him because there's not really too much new with him. But sometimes when you see them all sitting on shelf, you can't help but grab them, especially when they're unpunched. Now on to the turtles. Since we were just talking about Leo, here's the heroic Ninja Turtle leader rocking the He-Man chest piece with the big L for Leonardo. The rest of his armor is blue, as you would expect, with the straps and wristbands silver. There's a lot of fur attached to the shoulder strap to give him that Motu look. For accessories, Leo has the power katanas that can be separated into two pieces or you can combine them and store them on his back on a shell. The final figure is Donnie, the heroic turtle at arms. His armor is similar to Man at Arms, but instead it's purple and brown with the silver wristbands and belt. For his accessories, he comes with a staff and then the shell shield, although I don't like that as his accessory. Since he's a turtle, he needs his shell, but it's still cool. I'm just personally never going to pose him with the shell shield. For a couple of size comparisons, here's He-Man and Man at Arms next to their original carded Origins figures. I do prefer the TMNT colors for the background over the flat Masters of the Universe retro cards. Turtles of Grayskull, Leonardo, and Donatello. And for a final comparison, my favorite Masters of the Universe figures, Scareglow, Evil Ghost of Skeletor, and Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. Overall, I love these type of crossovers. I already have Raph and Shredder on pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. I'm still waiting to see when they're gonna do Mikey. It looks like they're gonna hold off until like wave three because he is featured in the included comic that comes with every figure. The Motu Origins line though is one of the strongest lines going. They have figures, vehicles, play sets with them releasing Eternia. 
I wish other companies like Playmates would reissue their playsets, like the Sewer Layer playset, the Technodrome. Looking a little ahead in July at Voices Against Cancer, they're gonna have the original voice actor of Skeletor, Alan Oppenheimer. So I'm gonna meet him and that's gonna be awesome. Let me know if you plan to pick up any of these. Comment your thoughts below. And I did see they're doing Krang for Walmart, so I'm gonna be looking out for him as well. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out my social media. And as always, guys, stay nerdy.